Hey everybody, my name is Bear, and this is Alan Wake. It's a game that came out in about 2010 for both the Xbox 360 and the PC. It's probably one that's come into light quite a bit in recent news, uh, considering it was in the Humble Weekly sale, as well as being on sale on Steam for a freaking 90% off. It was like $3 for Alan Wake. I was blown away by that, but um... I figured this was just as good a time as any for me to jump into it, and uh, I didn't even have that much interest in this when this first came out, but now that I've basically been forced to buy it, uh, here we go! This is a psychological horror game made by Remedy Entertainment. Uh, that's another name that might be popping up in recent memory for you due to the fact that they showed off their new game, if you want to call it that, uh, Quantum Break. Uh, many people were actually kind of disappointed that Remedy shifted away from getting an Alan Wake or a proper Alan Wake sequel in. Of course, American Nightmare has released since then, and uh, they really wanted to get a true continuation of this series going, but Quantum Break has kind of taken the reins for that studio. We're going to show off to both me and you and everyone else out there why Alan Wake deserves a proper sequel. I know, I know a bit about this game already, although I haven't played it all the way through myself. Uh, you'll see I have a continue game here, which is kind of testing out some things. But I, uh, I've, I'm going to be playing this basically blind and hopefully getting a true sense of what makes this... Because this is, is a really good game, guys. Like If you haven't heard of or played it before, this is fantastic. So without further ado, I've got all the options set up. Kind of rambling here, so with, uh, with no more delays, let's start off a new game here in normal mode of Alan Wake. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. We take the reins here now. It tells me to look up to just make sure the camera settings are all set up. I am playing this one in uh, Xbox 360 controller, but this is the uh, well, this is the PC version, not the Steam version, but the uh, direct download of Alan Wake, and it's quite beautiful. I mean, this is a game that came out in 2010. I'm certainly not trying to suggest that uh, the industry has taken leaps and bounds in graphical capabilities since then, but I mean, this thing is looking fine. I've got everything basically maxed out uh, to top-notch settings here. Still very impressed by this one. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. And uh, there's going to be a lot of narration here from the character himself, because he's kind of just telling his own story as we unfold, particularly in this first episode, considering this is actually a dream sequence. Uh, so I'm going to be doing my best to shut up and let him kind of take the reins for the majority of it. Our objective lighthouse off there in the distance. We need to find a way to get there very quickly. And, uh, oh, it's Night Springs. I hadn't even noticed that. Collapsed. 
I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Something I should point out right away, too, is the fact that there's actually a thermos here. Uh, there's a hundred collectible thermoses in the game. I don't think they actually serve any purpose. It's just kind of a nice little nuancey thing to keep you occupied while you're busy figuring out what the hell's wrong with your brain. The Rain Cove Point Lighthouse. The hiking trail. How convenient is that? The bridge out, I suppose we don't have much of another option. It's a narrow one, too. It's like the kind of bridge you'd have to pay a toll for. He's, I mean, like, just look at the the level of detail is uh, quite impressive. I think, actually, we can read this, well, if I get the right angle, but, uh, and there's another interesting tidbit. That look familiar? It's a funny, uh, quinky dink there for the faces, but apparently I'm not actually here. Let's continue along the rickety bridge, I suppose. Wait a second. He wasn't there before. Oh, God. You don't even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? Ugh. You think you can just make up stuff? Ugh. Play with people's lives and kill them when you think it adds to the drama? Ugh. You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer! You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories, cause I'm gonna kill you. It's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any the artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. You're pretty impressive, man. I don't know what you're complaining about. I created a very vivid character in you. You're quite believable. I'm a fantastic author. Don't let that get you down, Alan. He's just spewing nonsense. There's a QR code here, and I'm fairly certain that if you actually play this yourself, you can scan this on your computer screen, and it'll bring you to something. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm just kind of assuming there, but that's typically what's happened when I've encountered QR codes in my own time with video games. There was the one in Fez. I don't know if you guys remember that so very long ago, but that one was particularly cool. You missed your deadline! Nice writing pun, buddy. Okay, so here we are introduced to the first little bits of combat where we can dodge attacks uh, by holding LB and uh, just kind of weaving and bobbing. He's like a boxer, a drunk boxer. Oh, God! Okay, that hurt a lot. That's... Probably something that might have killed you, actually. <laughs> okay, I just gotta dodge him properly. Oh my goodness, he's actually going to kill me. This is embarrassing. Uh, oh no, wow! I died, didn't I? Oh, get out of the way, man! It's not letting me die when I'm failing these dodges. Uh, oh, I think I'm doing it wrong, actually. I have to uh, press LB and dodge. There we go. Okay. Successful dodges are sometimes highlighted by a cinematic moment. The hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. It was a little different uh, when I was playing it with the PC controls the first time. I think it allowed you to hide, the, hold the button. By the hands of your own creation. I got it now, though, in just enough time. It's time to get the hell out of this place. Oh my goodness, I love the feel of this already. Now keep in mind, this is just a nightmare he's having, but the, just still the the scope and the imagination that they're already putting behind just the very like first ten minutes of the game. You feel like you're completely <laughs> losing your grasp of reality. It's so brilliant! But I need to run! I should probably go faster. This way, this way. Here's my friend! Guy I've never met before, but I'll trust him over the spiraling tornado of death behind me. Naturally, yeah, Mr. Clay Stewart, you're my buddy. God. 
freaking scary as hell. <laughs> oh, hey, that's rocking. That's fine. No big deal. That's just totally normal. I can't get out. I can open the door. I get, okay, no. Nope. It was a death trap. I had to get out. Sure do. Wish I knew a way. The moose head fell. Pick it up. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Please let me out of the cabin. Oh, it's good. oh Jesus. Can I go? There we are. Yes. Follow the light. The beautiful light. I feel so much better already. Will you save me? You're so pretty. You, hurt. you should go into the light. You are only safe there. Go into the safe haven. Of course, that being a lamp post. Let that be a lesson to you. Anytime you're out in the middle of the street at night. Just hang out under a street light. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. There's no time. I can only show you the most important thing. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Burn, you son of a bitch! Oh, yes! Suck on my flashlight! Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Oh, okay. Now you'll die. No, you, friend! Right in your crap, lousy, darkness infested mouth. Tap reload faster, brilliant. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Thanks, buddy. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Sounds like a place for me to be. Boosting the light with LT blinds the enemies and burns the darkness away faster. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna... No, you're not. This is just a dream, man. Would y'all just relax? Dreams shouldn't behave this way. I, I need to be like a... Just a calm, collected guy. Going on a lighthouse expedition to my family. We're like going to Cape Cod or something. That's, that's what a dream should be. Wake. Call me Wake. Only my friends call me Wake. Oh, hey, 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 back off, buddy. I can blind you just as well as the other guy. No big deal. Oh, whoa, hey, stop that nonsense. Get the hell out of here. Okay, don't, no, 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 good boy. Okay, that'll work just fine. Reload this up real quick. We have a recharging battery flashlight, which is quite interesting. Never thought electricity worked that way, but I'm fine with it going to my benefit. Ah, ha, ha, we have a checkpoint here, as well as some flare gun. Hey there. That'll be particularly useful. Use the D-pad to switch weapons and throwables. We can get out the flare gun here. This sounds like a good idea, considering we just picked it up. And I think we might have some use for it immediately. Just like me. Let's see what happens when we do this. That worked pretty well. Uh, okay, nope, didn't. Oh my goodness. Oh, reload it, reload it, die! Oh my god! Uh, maybe we need to get out the revolver or uh, shine the flashlight on these folks here. There we go. All right, everybody's in top condition now. Die, please. Thank you. All right, reload really quickly, really quickly. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, dodge. Suck it. Another shot's real quick. Boom, bam, got him. Oh, bro. Oh, whoa, I actually got hit by that. 
<laughs> he was alive. There we go. No corpse searching, unfortunately, but I guess they aren't truly corpses in the traditional sense. Let's get a little bit faster going here. Don't know why he did the duck bob and weave, but that's okay. Oh, hey, let's knock you off the cliff, shall we? Blinded by the ethereal light. Goodbye, friend. Hope you enjoyed your trip. See you next fall. <laughs> Finish that line off. What's this up here? Oh, it's me, Alan Wake. I have my own billboards. I deserve that. I can keep this up forever. I'd rather not. Okay, time to get to the lighthouse. <laughs> Let's freaking run. He's throwing cars at me. Good. That's what I needed to see. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Oh, keep running, buddy. Don't you lose stamina on me now. Wow, he needs to recover a little bit. Holy freaking crap. That is so cool. Look at the mountain in the background. That's a nice sight to see. Okay, keep running, buddy. You got your, uh, you got your guns back. Let's do this thing. All the way inside. He's throwing car tires now. He's, he's running low on resources, but nonetheless, it's time to hide away. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. at Bright Falls. It's a much more pleasant sight than anything we were used to, wasn't it? That's an empty train. Seems like a waste of resources. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying it. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Kind of a weird way to interject myself there, but uh, thanks so much for joining me again here in this <laughs> first episode of Alan Wake, you guys. I'm going to be playing through the entirety of this here game from start to finish, including the extra additional episodes that you may or may not know exist. Uh, we uh, have started off here in the dream sequence. Oh man, it's like glossy, shiny new stuff. It's wonderful. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you'll stick around, subscribe if you like what you see. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.